Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and here this is a really quick video on how to add glow to your scenes in Unity. I get this question pretty much at least once whenever I make a video with a glow effect. Like recently, I made the third person shooter where I added a really nice glow effect to make the final one really nicely polished. Adding that is super simple, it just requires a few steps, so let's see them in this quick video. Here's a checklist of everything you need to do, so let's go through them one by one. Now, the first thing you need is a shader with some emission. And obviously you need an object, so let's just create a new sphere. Okay, now just make a material for it. And now here for the material, I'm using URP, so I'm using the default URP and lit shader. And with this one, you've got down here a film for the emission. So if you tick on this, you can enable emission. And then if you want, optionally, you can use an emission map to only emit from certain areas. But if you leave it as known, then the whole object will be emissive, so just click on the color. And over here, set it to something, so like for example, an orange. And then down here, you can see you've got the red, green, blue, but then also an intensity. So this one is just how intense the color is. So you can click on these buttons or just manually modify it. So let's put it maybe something like three. Okay, so this sphere has the color with some intensity. It's got some emission, but over here in the scene view, it is still not glowing. So the next thing that we need is post-processing. So make a new game object. And here, let's add a component and we're going to add a volume component. Then just make a new post-processing profile. Then add the override and the effect that we need to add is over here, the bloom. And the two main ones that you need to modify here are the threshold and intensity. So make sure the intensity is more than zero. So this set, but again, we still don't see any glow. So the next step is on the render pipeline object. So if I go up here into edit, project settings, and on the graphics, I'm using this render pipeline object. Again, I'm using URP. So on this object down here, you've got the pipeline asset. And over here under quality, we do see a field for HDR where we can enable this. So you need to enable this in order for the intensity of that color to be actually used. And as soon as you enable, yep, you do see some glow here. And just in case you don't, then up here on the scene window, there's this little button. So this enables or disables effects. So make sure this one is enabled, make sure post-processing is enabled. Okay, so with that, yep, we do see the object glowing in the scene view. However, in the game view, nope, still no glow. So the next step is to go over here on the camera and then under rendering, you've got a field for post-processing and you just need to enable this. So you do that, and yep, the object is now correctly glowing. Awesome. All right, so now you can play around all of these parameters. So for example, on the glow, you can set this to any color, so pure white, maybe a green, maybe a blue, and so on. One quick note here, emission does not work with black, so keep that in mind. You cannot have a black glow. And then on the post-processing, on the bloom over here, you can modify the threshold. So this is how intense the color needs to be in order for the bloom effect to be applied. So for example, I set the intensity of three. So if I grow this above three, then all of a sudden there's no glow because three is not enough to trigger the bloom effect. So usually you want this one to be on one or if you want maybe even less than one to get the whole thing glowing. So for example, all of these stars down here, if I put it on one, they're not glowing. But if I put on something like 0.1, then now pretty much everything on the scene is now glowing. And then the intensity pretty much acts like a multiplier on things. So without modifying each material, you can modify the entire glow of the entire scene. And also this works both on 3D shaders as well as sprite shaders. So over here, for example, is my sprite outline shader that I made in another tutorial. So here is the shader in shader graph, and it simply takes the outline color and simply adds it on top of the other colors and that applies some emission. And yep, it works just like the other one. So here is the glow effect working on a sprite and a 3D mesh. All right, so that's it. As you can see, it's super simple. Here is the checklist again. If you have any issues, make sure you follow all of these steps. So make sure you have emission enabled and you're using an emission color other than black. Then make sure the intensity is more than zero. After that, make sure you have bloom post-processing and make sure the threshold and intensity are set correctly. Then on the camera, make sure post-processing is enabled and on the render pipeline, make sure HDR is enabled. Follow those steps and your object will glow. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.